Hey everyone, welcome back. It's uh, Joe and Connor here coming at you with a Green Day album tier list. That's Connor. He's been around a few times before. Um, we had Mike here when we were talking about the um, recent Green Day singles, but he insisted me and Connor just go ahead and do this because I don't think he hated the album, but he just kind of realized that he was less of a Green Day fan and more of a American Idiot fan, and he was like, you guys take over on this one. So um, that's that's where Mike is right now. But um, yeah, Connor, how are you doing on this fine Wednesday afternoon? I'm doing pretty good. It's cold, but I'm pretty good. I don't want I don't want to hear anything about being cold. It was like below 20 here the last like five, six days. And today it was above like 40. So today gets a thumbs up out of me. But uh, true. dude, all all the like beer and soda in my trunk exploded. Like I swear to God, <laughs> over this over this cold front, I was very upset. I was more upset about losing my beer than destroying my trunk. <laughs> but uh, you How know, that, that sounds like two separate issues. Yeah, that has nothing to do with Green Day. So we're going to jump on Green Day. Um, So the way this is going to work is we're going to go from the first song on the album, which is American Dream is Killing Me, to the last. I'm going to share my screen and place it in the tier list. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Or I'm going to come back and then he's going to place his in the tier list and we're going to talk about the song. And then he's going to start. He's going to go for first just because it's a different mood or a different vibe when you place it first versus when you place it after yeah. the other person has placed it. So we're going to like go back and forth with that. I don't think we ever did it that way with you because it's kind of a new... We did circles and that we did it from worst to best. We're doing this now. So we're just going to run from the premiere song on the album to the finale. Um, gotcha. Let me just get the order in front of me. Um, and here we go. All right. So I'll start. Um... American Dream is Killing Me is the first song. We have discussed this um, already on me and um, Mike discussed it on the channel. But obviously times have a changed and we'll see where we put it now. Um, it's not in order on this, which is going to confuse the hell out of me. But I found it just so I happened to find it. Um, yeah, I don't hate the song. I think it's a great song. I think it was a great lead single and it gave me a lot of hope for the album. And over and time has had its way with it, and it didn't really do much to the song. I think it still stands pretty tall after time. So I'm gonna put it in A, uh, Connor. Mm -hmm. Well, I, 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 you place? know, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, I'm going to agree with that statement and say A as well. I think it was There's really no good controversy feel. in this. But something that puts it down from being like an S tier track, um, mm -hmm. just to you know, kind of narrow it down. Um, yeah. You have a line like TikTok and taxes in your song. It's really stupid. It's gross. And it's the like, lyrics are disgusting. No, Billy Joe Armstrong says we're pedophiles in the song. I don't care oh what context it is. You can't say that. Like it's ridiculous. I don't like that. It, it's just like kind of all over. The tunes kind of, kind of everywhere. You know, it's like. Like in turn, like lyrically, I mean. But mm -hmm. other than that, I, you yep. know, it's it's a it's a groovy little tune, groovy little yep. tune. I completely um, agree. I really enjoyed your explanation for that. Um, now it's time for the second single, "Look Ma No Brains." Mm -hmm. That's it. That's yeah. That's you. You're doing it. Oh, I'm doing the next one. Yeah. So you start this one, and then I'll start track three, "Bobby Socks," and like you know what I mean. So I'm gonna do this oh, after okay. you, and then I'm, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um. Uh, this one is, uh, to it's me, right there, it's, it's in the middle. It's like it's. Uh, Where it's, was it's, it? It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> this one to me, um, I think this was the weakest of the singles they dropped before the record hit. I don't think mm -hmm. it's like their worst song ever or anything like that. It's not like super bad. Um. I wouldn't give it anything above a B, but I'm going to give it a C for the sake of the compare, yeah. like, you know, comparing it to the record. You know what I mean? Right. Um, unshare your screen now. No. <laughs> You're looking at my <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is my tier list. Uh, let's see. All right. So I remember when me and Mike talked about Look Ma No Brains, it was about a two minute conversation before we got into dilemma or two second conversation even before we got into dilemma because it was it just sounded like classic Green Day. But uh 
what I've oh wait did you did you see my F tier? Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw. I was gonna ask you about that, but I wasn't sure if there was some some context I was missing there. No, it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, so look, my no brains. Um. Yes, it sounds very much a classic Green Day. It's very very fast. Um. And I, I I was never like I mean I didn't obviously um a thousand thirty nine and Kerplunk which I still don't really like and Dookie they did get me into the band but my favorite albums all come like after that era um but look the brains when I listened to it in the car but like when I was listening to the full album I don't know I like it as a I like it as a sophomore track I really enjoyed it especially the chorus the verses were a little like. You know, you've heard it a million, like you've heard it a million times, but I really enjoy the chorus to this song. So I don't enjoy it this much, but I about enjoy it like this much. So I don't, I don't think it's like as bad as I was making it out to be originally. Cause I was like, oh, nope, never mind. Green Day is reverting back to like, just doing whatever, like, you know, I, I think there's like very little like thought behind the song just because it's so like, you know, Green Day-esque, but you know, it's a great band as it is, so they don't need to put too much thought into their songs to make it at least decent, in my opinion. Fair um, fair. all right, that being said, um, let me screen share again. We're doing Bobby Socks and Bobby Socks. So, I, I definitely have an opinion on Bobby Socks. So, Bobby Socks, I mean, it's not a bad song, it's it's, I don't think it's horrible. I think this song could probably grow on me, but. The chorus sucks. <laughs> it, just, it, it does. I'm not a big fan of the verses. I, I do like the... I think that part's really cool. I, I like those little things where you can like kind of sing along to it like really simply. Um, but other than that, it really doesn't do much for me. I, I feel like this is one of those songs that people enjoy by Green Day. So I feel like it's going to be kind of a hot take. But I'm not gonna bash it too hard. I'm gonna put it in B below Look Ma, which I think I think just okay. it being below Look Ma might be a little more controversial than it just being in B. But mm -hmm. yeah, no, um, Bobby Socks need I need to give it a little bit more time to see where it will end up because it's it's not too hot on my uh list right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. So yeah, I mean Bobby Socks for me, I thought oh, it was sure. a really good song. I love. Yep, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I think sophomore at this. I really love, like, well, I don't know. Just like the intro was really good, like that light, you know, gentle guitar type of thing going mm -hmm. on. It wasn't like the power chord thing. He was like really nice, and then you got like really good. Don't get me wrong. I think, I think like the chorus definitely gets a little bit like redundant. Like it's a little repetitive. Um, mm -hmm. but this song, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's a banger. I'd throw it an S. Mm. I thought this song was super good. And I think it just oh, like yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I'm, I, I, wow. I mean that's I just that's think all it I goes to... hard. I think it's you goes just so like the inclusion dude. He screams S tier inclusion on this track. S tier inclusion. Billy Joe Armstrong's asking for a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Yes, S tier no, that's inclusion. Too, that's Ever too. That, we, no. didn't, we haven't even talked about that. Yeah, that too. But no, not even no, just dude, that. It's just, I think the riff goes hard. I think he screams his head off on this one in the chorus. And I there's like another voice, song yes, on okay. this record. I feel the same exact way about it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I like this dude. This is a good song. I like the, the dynamics there. From like the really clean poppy verse to like, don't you want <laughs> I thought that was super good. All right, so I get what you're saying. I think you bring up some really good points. Like him screaming, the I I do love his voice in it. Um, yeah. From from what I listen to, Billy Joe Armstrong is kind of like a underwhelming slash average singer because like you know I'm into like Miles and stuff like that. Um, Billy Joe Armstrong is yeah. always like kind of that, but in this song he's really really good. I admit that. Um. Yeah. And I do like the acoustic intro, but um, yeah, I just can't get behind the rest of the damn song, honestly. That's fair. Um, that's fair. It it blows my mind that you have it in S tier. Dude, no, oh, I really I liked gonna... it. I was because to give a little bit of context too, the first time I listened to this record was like I was working out in the gym, and I I, I don't know, do that, dude, dude. This song, this song went hard though. I was like, let's go. <laughs> I was like, yeah. 
the other two songs are great. Don't get me wrong. I think Look Ma No Brains is still good. I think, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think any of the songs we've talked about are like bad. You know what I mean? So it's like, but still, I, I don't know. know. That really... was the first one where I was like, okay, okay, this is a good, this, I like this too. This is a good one. Right. I have two points before I move on. One, I would never listen to a album for the first time at the gym. Because when a ballad comes on, that's just going to completely destroy my workout. And, <laughs> and sec, second of all, dude, I was I was listening with somebody like later in the day. I was like, hey, you got to check out the Screen Day album when we were listening together. And this song came on and he's like, and friggin' do you want to be my boyfriend? They were like, yo, Billy Joe Armstrong, this kind of sus. Is he coming out? I'm like, dog, you ever listen to friggin' Coming Clean Dookie Coming clean. 30 years ago? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> But You're like way behind. Decades bro. ago, my man came out of the closet in a song. <laughs> You're way behind, my guy. <laughs> yeah, he's way behind. Um. Oh. Anyways, um. Next single, I think it's One Eyed Bastard. Correct in the song in the album. Is it? Is that the next two? Yeah. Um. Let, let me just One-Eyed double ba- check. I think it's yes. Okay. Okay. One Eyed Bastards. Um. It's in this place for me. It's not my favorite song ever. It's not like the worst song ever. Um, I it's better than Look Ma No Brains, but I don't yeah. think it's like I, you know what I mean. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing that I'm like, yeah, this is the best or anything like that. But it's like right. a decent, it's a decent little tune. I'd, I'd give it B. I'd, I'd say it's right in the middle of the road. You know, it's it's Green Day, baby. But it's not it's Green like Day, baby. it's not like boring ass Green Day either. Where it's like, uh, I think there are a few songs that do fall victim to this on this record mm-hmm. but yeah but i think what kind of prevents it, i don't know there's like kind of like some fun guitar stuff going on and like i don't know there's there's like a, some interesting interesting jazz going on there um all right so unshare your screen yeah did that work your explanation of the unsharing the unsharing it did not work Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna. Say, I wanted to see because there was a thing that said pause share. Oh, okay. And I wanted to see. Yeah, no, it did. It was not. A <laughs> I success. wanted to try it out. Fair, fair. Um. All right. So, Bobby, or not Bobby Socks, friggin' um, one eye bastard. I can't see you. Are you still there? Can I hear you? Okay, there you are. You were you were gone for a sec. Can 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 yeah, you talk? Yeah. Just so I hello, right. okay, hello, I hello. Great. Gotcha. Um, so one eye bastard. It's another song where, and it's kind of, it's kind of not a trend that will continue. Um, so I hate to shit on it so much this early in the album. It's like, it's like it's gonna be a thing. Um, the the lyrics just don't do it good. It should be up here, but it's going here. So yeah. the reason that it should be up here is it's just a fuck you song. It's such a like a yeah. societal like. I hate you, all this stuff. But then it just becomes unrelatable. They go too far. I like you all, but I'm happy that you're dead. At that point, I, like, like I'm listening to this and I'm like yelling along, right? I'm like, like reading the lyrics, yelling along. I'm like, I like, yeah, I have a, I have a couple people in mind that like, you know, I'm not a big fan of. And it's like exacting revenge on them. Like you're a bastard. And then it's like, I want you dead. And it's like, I... Maybe I don't want that, and it's it's just I, it takes it too far. But um, other than that, I'm not a big fan of the outro where it, like the music just completely stops at some parts. Yeah. Um, I think the rest of it, it's 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 definitely a headbanger song, which is why it does go all the yeah. way up to B would be A. But um, it just has one too many negative things, and uh, a nice segue I would say is a song that has absolutely zero negative things in it is our first s tier dilemma this song is so good so when we first talked and i said this on the um on the podcast with mike but i also said it to you um not on a podcast i was like i know this song is fantastic but i just can't get behind like the minor chords is this something that turns me off about it i got over that (laughs) <laughs> wow what a great this song good, is right? going down in in their discography like this is going to be one of those songs you know and it and yeah. i just love how they're doing it so late right like i think it's gonna turn into like i'd say like about the same popularity as know your enemy 
I just love everything about this song. It's fantastic. And yes, of course. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Bobby Socks it's, above it's, it, though. It's that good. Oh, Bobby no, Sox no, sorry. A... Uh, no, I okay, okay. okay. I forgot that, I forgot that, like, the ranking works like that, where it's like... Yeah. I decide, yeah, Dilemma's, Dilemma's their best single since, like, like, 21st. Yeah. Like, yeah, no doubt. like... Well, no ooh. doubt. <laughs> I have some doubt. It's... I mean, still breathing exists. I'm not saying that still breathing is definitely going to end better than it, but you know, we got to see how it ages. Personally, for me, it's I love good still song. breathing and Pollution Radio, the single. I love that song as well. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, that's not to take away from Dilemma. Dilemma is an absolute banger. I'm really happy we feel the same way about it. Um, mm-hmm. 1981. 1981. 1981. 1981. So the thing with 1981 is 1981's a weird kind of turning point, I think, in the record. Actually, I don't know. No, maybe not, maybe not this one. Can I can okay. I can I say can I say one thing on yeah, that topic? Yeah. Is I don't like how they how four the first five songs on this album dropped before the album. That might yeah. be why you feel like it's a turning point, because it's actually when we start getting into every new I don't like how they did that, but that might be why you're feeling that way. Continue. Yeah, no. No, 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 that's true, that's true. I think, I think, but but I wasn't even going to say it in this sense. I don't think it turned to the bad or anything like that. It wasn't necessarily that. But it starts kind of like, you get to a point where like, okay, now this is like, we're, we're plateauing a little bit. Like, we're doing the same shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, thankfully, mm-hmm. it changes a little bit later. It changes a little bit later. And I'd still say this is like better than Look Ma No Brains, but I wouldn't put it above One Eyed Bastard. So I'm kind of in this weird gray area between these two tiers mm-hmm. right now. I'm going to probably give it C because I don't think I can hum the hook for you. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. The other thing with, I feel like the other thing with this song, if you want to unshare your screen, is um, it like, it's been out for a bit. Whether like like obviously there's been no studio version of it that's been out, but yeah. like they've been playing this song live, like for a really long time. Like art, like maybe even like a year, damn near. Uh, I'm not sure about those time frames. Don't quote me on that. But they've definitely been playing 1981 for a while. Um, let me just double check where I have it. Um, that seems fair. Um, when I first listened to 1981, I probably had it about here. But it's another one of their really banger fast songs. And that's true. I don't true. know. It gives me, it, it, I love how it's like the kind of vibe of like 1985, really. Like if you, if you want to even yeah. a comparison, bang her head. Like it's about, it's about like, um, what was I going to say? Like going through a midlife crisis, like a, a woman going through a midlife crisis who grew up in the 80s. It's literally the same thing, 1981, 1985. Yeah. Um, and they do it really well. So I'm going to put it right there. Uh, I think fair it's a great enough, song. Um, when I first listened to it, I agree with you that it was just kind of Green Day going through the motions. Um, but like I said before, Green Day going through the motions is not a bad thing at all. I like the band, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, fantastic song. Um, I think it's probably not going to go any higher than this ever for me, just because I'm I'm not a huge guy on that old ass Green Day. But if this, I don't know, man. I just think uh, it'd be so cool. Like I have a 1500 song at mega playlist i just think it'd be really cool if i was just driving one day like feeling like vibey and then all of a sudden i just start singing along to it i think that'd be really cool um okay yeah, yeah. but yeah um next up so fun fact for you um i have a couple fun facts for you when they were doing the listening parties um, they dropped a snippet where Billy Joe Armstrong was like filming on his phone. He's like, Hey, thank you guys for like blah blah blah. And I had to stop it because I heard a song in the background that I hadn't heard before by Green Day. And I was like, damn, that gave me what's your name vibes. And that song I have realized is Goodnight Adeline. And if you know anything about me, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. I don't know where you're going to rank this. You could rank this as high as I think you are, but let me tell you something that might have you rank it higher. You know how much I'm into geography, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know where, do you know where Green Day's from? California. Do you know where in California? 
No. <laughs> Oakland, right? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. They're from Oakland, California. You want to know what the name of the party city street is on that in that um town? Adeline Street. Oh, that's so cool. it's it's about alcoholism and every night instead of staying with like, you know, his loved ones and family, he goes out to Adeline Street. Good night, Adeline, wherever, whenever, we'll see each other again or some bullshit. Oh, uh, that's clever. I didn't Whoa. know that. Dude, when I piece I like that, that thing together, I love this song, dude. It made yeah. me, feel, I, I was like, damn, this is such a good, what an analogy, man. You, yeah. you think it's like him like singing goodnight to like his daughter or some shit, but it's him singing goodnight to the liquor. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Black. Um, yeah, I I put this one pretty high up too. I have it probably I have it above American Dream is killing me. So I have it still in that A tier. I don't know. Dilemma and Bobby Soxley just carry that same type of energy. I think that's just why I like vibe those two songs and put them. I was like, yes, amazing. Billy Joe's yelling. But like Part of it too is like this is a like good night Adeline's a really good track there. And I think I feel like it will get to that point where I have an S at some point. It's just like it's not there yet for me. And like with the amount of times I've listened to the record, I feel like I feel like I still need to digest that one a little bit. You stole the words from my mouth, dude. It's sooner or later, wherever, whenever, that's gonna be in your S tier. Dude. Yeah. The the key change at the end, he's screaming yeah. at the end. Oh, it goes hard. It's so good. No, from it it goes back, so hard. From it goes front so to hard. Back, it's an S tier track. I love yeah. it, dude. Such a great song. Yeah, it's a banger. Next. It's a banger. Uh, uh, oh, next sorry, is Coma is, is City, Coma right? City? Yes, I think Coma, it's Coma City. City. C is for Coma City. I think oh. it's the worst song on the record so far. Um. I am not a fan of Cold City. I think this one's kind of a stinker. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, if if I were to give a very like um you know like a literature esque like a a a thing you know like a really detailed explanation, I think this is the point where the record is like okay yeah it's front loaded. Um, this is like the song that's like oh man. Like it's gonna start, it's gonna start kind of going downhill. Thankfully, thankfully, it comes back. It does come back. It's not like the end of the record or anything. The next song, it comes back. I argue, but this was like the one where it's like, okay, this the streak's over. Like they had like this many good songs, and now we're now we're on Coma City. <laughs> wow! All right, stop sharing. Your it's screen. just boring to me. It's like so cut. repetitive. Cut, cut the screen share. <laughs> Wow! You're gonna put it in the ass or something. Wow! You're gonna hype this Dog. one up, huh? Dog! What <laughs> the hell did you just say? <laughs> um, where I, I gotta be it? honest, man. I, I know, and that makes that's what makes it interesting. But <sighs> oh wow! wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so let me just say this. Oh I, wow! It is not an A tier song without the ending. As a drummer, I cannot believe you have this opinion because yeah. the drums in this song were. I never say this. You can. I've recorded about five of these album rankings, and this is probably the first time I mentioned drums. <laughs> like, I, I do not ever say this, and you're a drummer. How the hell? The ending of this song, I can just see it's Trey Cool dope. like doing like. Yeah, I, yeah. I can just see Trey Cool going nuts on this thing. Dude, yeah. the rest of the song is okay. I get the rest of the song. The ending, you're correct. Right when they were like, Coma City, Coma City, Coma. I was like, oh, is that going to be it? And I probably <laughs> would agree. But then they stopped doing that, and Trey Cool's just like, no, I no. Like, I 100% My jaw was dropped, Connor. Yeah. The drums. Well, you fucking. Here's here's my thing. Here's my thing. Because I knew you were going to point this out because the first time we talked about this record, you, yep. you said the same exact thing. So I, I, wow. I waited because I knew you were going to rant about it. And like, be, you'd be excited about it. Good I man. agree with everything you're saying about that ending. But the tune around it is just not it for me. I, I do I not have... vibe with the song around it. 
It as I a, think it, I, I'm the Trey Cool nut. Like I love Trey Cool. I but. think it's one of those things where the ending is the best part, and the 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 the, the it, it's like if any of you guys play Call of Duty Zombies, it's like having a all right Easter egg with a friggin' killer boss fight. You can get through the egg. It doesn't really bother me to do the Easter egg. It doesn't really bother me to do the level. But then the boss fight is just completely worth it for me, where it's like, I'm yeah. willing to go through it. That's that's what it is for me. There's some songs where, like, you know, it's a kind of a longer song, and then, like, the ending is fantastic, and the beginning is just completely trash, and it's like, I can't listen to the song because of the beginning. Um, but this song is like, yeah, no, it's worth it for me. I think it might go down for me, maybe to, like, high B. But, like, that's it. I really enjoy this. All right, so I think it's still on me to record, and I think we're. I'm. I'm sorry. Um, to screen share, and yeah. I think we are on Susie Chapstick. If I'm, I'm sorry. No, we're on Corvette Summer. Um, here's the thing: Corvette Summer is going to go down as the most overrated song on the album. Um, I get it. There's a cowbell in it. It's. For for a song with a cowbell, it's one of the weaker ones. Now, before I continue with this tirade or whatever you want to call it, charade, it is a it is a high B song. It is not horrible, but it's going to be overrated by people because I mean, first of all, the name is very good. Maybe I was just expecting a little more due to how cool the name is, like you know, convertible on Route One on the California coast. There's more than a few handful of songs that I'd rather listen to on the coast. I feel like that's what they were going for, and they didn't really accomplish their mission with the song. But uh, other than that, not really a bad song, but uh, just not my cup of tea for what they were going for, I think. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I kind of share the same feelings about this tune. Um, I, okay. I, I thought that was going to be a hot take. No, no, I agree. Um, I kind of it's kind of going in that same area. Like it's better. I think it's, I don't even know if it's, it's around like here. It's in the C row. Okay. It's in that same type of like lane. You're, I'm you're a lot it, more, uh, what, what is it? You're a, a lot harder on this album than I am. No, well, okay. Well, that, that's because I'm going to praise it a lot more later, but Higher I statements. think it's, I think, uh, I think, because there is a, 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 a down streak on this record. There is one mm. down streak where, like, I think there's, like, two or three signs that aren't great. Like, like that, like, one that's, like, D, in my opinion, like, pretty bad. But See. the rest of it were good. The rest of it was good. So me putting them in C isn't, like, that bad. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah. There's, there's the songs that could probably grow on you. So, so the way the way I see it is S and A tier songs are automatically in my playlist, and B tier songs it like it like depends. If you're a low B, probably not. If you're a high B, then probably. If you're a mid B, then it kind of depends on why you're there. Like there's songs that like just have some really bummer parts, but some banger parts those don't go my. I can't listen to the bummer parts. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. yeah. Um, you're up with Susie Chapstick. Oh, that's right. That's right. Susie Chapstick. Is the one, the one that ends that poo poo streak. Um, I think Susie Chapstick's a pretty good tune. Um, well, let's see where you. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was about to say. I keep, um, I keep doubting you. I keep doubting you. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I think Susie Chapstick is definitely better than One Eyed Bastard. Um, is it better than American Dream? Uh. I'd I'd put it I'd put it in A. I think it's a good track. I think it's a really good mm -hmm. tune for them. Actually, you know what? No, I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be indecisive and I'm gonna go top of B because I don't You're gonna I don't think it's indecisive. as strong as the other two, but I do think it's a great track. I do think it's pretty good. I think it. All right. It's only a bit better than one of one eye bastards. Just kind of like the middle of the road for me i think fair, I think fair it's and it's better like than the middle of the road okay i i like that logic i really do enjoy that logic all right um i feel like it's easier to make a tier list when you have that middle of the road song because then it's yeah. like all right what's higher or lower the middle of the road is a lot easier than what's a tier what's b tier all that stuff but yeah. let me explain to you why this song is better than dilemma <laughs> let oh me, boy let me, let me explain when I heard the song, I did not think it was better than Dilemma. 
I thought it was S tier. I thought it was an S tier song. I love it. Will I ever see your face? I like, just such a good opening line, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. There are not enough songs that touch on this topic. Because every song that's like, I miss you. Like I love, like I like it's gonna be so different without you. It's all I miss my girl or I miss my ex boyfriend or stuff. This can be applied in. I love it. Like, will like, will I see you across the street? Will you like say hi to me? Like stuff like that. He doesn't say like I miss my girl. Like cuddling at night and all this shit. He could be talking about like a best friend that he lost. He could be talking yeah. about like you know like a family member that just went away. Right, like. You could, it's just such a relatable track, and I really enjoy it. Um, what me, uh, mm, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, all right, you know what? One second, what makes it below dilemma? The only thing that does make it below dilemma is it just doesn't have enough diversity in it. It, 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 like, you know, just kind of is the same kind of vibe throughout. I'm not even sure the drums change beat at all, like. It's kind of like this goes to a minor key for the chorus and then just goes right back into it. I really enjoy the instrumental, like, du, 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 du. but I don't think it, like, adds to the song. I think it just continues a really great theme and rhythm. Um, but I, I think the subject of the song is just fantastic. I just don't think too many songs touch upon something like that. And... I'm really glad. Uh, I'm really glad that Green Day tackled it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all right. Um, Strange Days are here to stay. Where are we? Okay, right there. Um, this is a great song, in my opinion. I really enjoyed this song. Um, it uh, it's another fast paced, older esque Green Day song. Um. And I think it goes right above the American Dream is Killing Me. I remember thinking I it's not better than the American Dream is Killing Me. But then the thing that kind of pushed it above there is uh, a couple things, two things, actually. Um, one is the lyrics are trying to reach a younger generation, but they do it a lot better than American Dream, which calls themselves pedophiles and TikTok love lore. Um, they don't do that. And they reach, the, they do the same kind of message. So, bonus points there. And also, it's a lot faster pace. So it, it, it. I don't know. It, it just, I, I like the faster pace of it. Um, I enjoy slow songs. Obviously, I'm a big ballad guy. Um, but when it's slow for not the sake of being slow, it loses a few points for me. Like, uh, uh, for not the sake of being like a ballad, it you, loses some points for me. So whereas American Dream is a good a song enough where it doesn't lose points by being that slow. Um, Strange Days are here to say it's just so much faster that it gains points by being so much faster. So that's why it's above American Dream. It's a pretty good close, uh, pretty close race between those two songs. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's a little hot take to have it that high, but that's why. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I I thought positively of this tune too. I thought this was a good one. I think I'd put it. Maybe I definitely above one eyed. I'd put it in like this safe row. I I think like mm. I think C, like in in like when I'm looking at my uh, songs here, it's like C is like it's a lackluster, but it's not like awful. It's still like decent tune. And B's like mm. this is a good song. A's like this is great. S is like oh yeah. <laughs> so S, S is S yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like I think I think it's a good tune. I like this song a lot. And I agree. It has like that fast paced vibe. And it doesn't, it's it's different enough lyrically and stuff like that too, that it doesn't fall into like boilerplate Green Day too. So I think it's tell you what though, <laughs> listen to this song and try to sing along to Basket Case. It's it's kind of stupid that you can do it. It yeah, works yeah. really well. Try it. It's just <laughs> just listen to the song and just sing the words of Basket Case and it works. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one negative to the song. It's too much like Basket Case, but hey, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, I suppose. Yeah. I living in the twenties. Living in the twenties. This is my least favorite track on this album. Um, I am not a fan of this. This wow. is a. This is kind of a stinker. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah. Joe. I have a feeling you're gonna really like this one, huh? Judging by your reaction, but 
Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. All right. Unshare. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. I gotta. <laughs> All right. Uh, you misread my reaction. This song is not very good. Um, uh, <laughs> I I wouldn't put it that low, but up I'll, I'll put it in like C. Uh, it's just. Bleh, right like it's a green day song period like like you know what i mean like it's yeah. boilerplate at their weakest green day right like <laughs> they might have pulled this one out from like the 1039 slappy hours like besides. <laughs> like there was not much not much put into this song and it's a real shame that it comes before this absolute <laughs> <laughs> slap fest called but where, where else where else did you expect me to put this shit like yeah, I, I I, when, when i first heard this song i was like all right like was it better than good night adeline was it better than dilemma and then it's then i was like i i'm trying to be controversial i'm trying to tell myself it's not that just to be a little different but i'm yeah. not gonna sit here and try to be different or anything with you it's genius it's beautiful it's it's not like i missed my dad or i missed like a loved one it's from the father to the son i'm sorry i'm not there for you it's brilliant i love the the, the pov of this song i love that they took like a cliche and just kind of turned it a little on its head not like completely like altered the friggin gods of punk and did like some crazy shit but they definitely like changed up like you know a thing that's usually cliched which is like you know i miss a loved one and i love yeah, yeah. great song yeah. the orchestra the strings love it great song put it there put it there i agree i um, agree um, uh, 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 i'm between liking the s tier and hating it below <laughs> 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 but let's hear your piece on it i didn't mean to interrupt i think it's a great song i think it's a great song and honestly like s i think anything in s is kind of like interchangeable to me i think all three of these tunes are like fantastic yeah. even like the stuff in yeah. a i feel like you know i'm not gonna be like super like that that's the ranking amongst the songs themselves is like really subject to change it's just the tears it's giving me a really good idea first impression wise uh, still early yeah still early yeah yeah um but yeah because the record's only been out a week so it's like you know i can only yeah. digest it so much but even then it's like yeah this this one was like a this was a big and even then like they were hyping this one up before it even came out and you could just tell like okay there's something going on yeah but it's a good tune good tune i wish they I... messed around more with the orchestra vibes on this because it it worked well on dream is killing me and I think it worked well on this too. So I would have wanted to see more of it. It's kind of a shame that they didn't do more. Could you imagine like a November Rain orchestra with like an electric guitar solo? Like, do. Like, it's such a. I just love how you can hum along to it. Nah, 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 nah. Like, like, it's just so iconic. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It just it just has an iconicism feel about it, like the vocal progression. And I really love iconic vocal uh, vocal progressions. Love it. Can't say enough. Um, yeah. Saviors. Title track. They really went <laughs> all out on this this ending here. Um. <laughs> They went they went above and beyond with the standout hook, the incredible, the incredible hook that I can't even hum to you if I wanted to right now. <laughs> um there were so many standout moments, like the part where there was probably guitar and drums and the bass, probably too. Um living in the 20s, I might actually give higher only because like I can remember it and I can kind of clown on it. There was that goofy line about the robot. Um, in this song, I don't remember anything, and it's the title track of the record. So I think I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna give it a big old goose egg, a zero. 
<laughs> Come on, calling all saviors tonight. <laughs> Make us all believers. <laughs> so, if you remember when you were placing living in the 20s, you thought that because of my reaction that I was going to place it high. Little did you know, my reaction was you saying it was the worst song on the album because <laughs> Saviors is a Weezer masterpiece. Ooh. Save oh. it's, it's so bad. Yeah. It's really bad, dude. Like, I, I gave it a few chances. I was like, damn, I really love this album. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> like, if, this is listenable. C is listenable. C is I can listen to this if we're doing, like, a front-to-back listen. This is getting skipped, and I hate it. I hate that, dude. Saviors. Whoa. That's <laughs> such that's a bad, bad song, dude. I'm glad we such agreed a on bad. that. Oh my I'm glad god, we if we did that that's... if you saw something in that song, I would have thrown up everywhere. Yeah. Um all right, we're gonna I'm I'm gonna really quick because I heard it. Honorable mention fever. It's uh, I just listened to it for the first time. It has a really bad recording just because it was like from the oh, Japanese really? and some some Japanese guy posted it on youtube and oh was it, it like a across. was it like a leak of it or something like that like it's not no, like it's, a, official... it's, it's, it's a it's a full song but the audio quality is like worse than an iphone's so it wasn't it wasn't that good audio quality but other than that yeah I, I, it's also just a kind of a it's kind of there it's way better than freaking the weezer masterpiece down here but um mm. yeah um and then grand finale obviously fancy sauce um when there was an interview they asked Green Day, which song they thought would catch people off guard. Their answers were Father to a Son and Corvette Summer. And I think they were trying to throw us off guard because with a song like Fancy Sauce, Green Day have some weird song titles and 99% of those weird song titles just turn into like thrash. Like really fast paced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, am I wrong? No, that's a good point. A I mean, I mean what, what, what's the name of it? Um, Prospect. I hate you. Plastic, yeah, plastic I hate head. you, prosthetic head, like all that shit. Yeah. This song caught me off guard. It started where I was like, I did not expect this. And then it went into, whoa, given off the first 30 seconds, I didn't expect this. Then it went, oh, I guess we're going back to that. Then it went, oh, it, it just took me on a freaking ride, an S tier ride. Th I enjoyed this song. I think over time, once I grow used to this song, it might drop just because I know what's coming. But it was a fantastic like journey if you wanna if you wanna call it that. Listening to this song for the first one or two times. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Yeah. About yeah. Bobby sucks. Dude, this song goes hard. Um, yeah, I thought yes, it does. I think that's like one of their best closers, period. Um, that's a good song, dude. That's a good song. I was it's just so like <laughs> it's 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 exactly how you were saying it was it's kind of like listening to a ween record, but like within a minute. <laughs> it's like what there's just so many different like things going on. It's like what? <laughs> so, so so side note. I was thinking that this was the best Green Day closer other than um, what's her name? And then another occurred to me. Do we agree on this? Do you do you know what song I'm thinking of? Green Day closer. Come on, come on. We agree on this. Wait. Well, it depends. Are you are are you gonna say Macy's Day Parade? Today's the Macy's Day. Okay. Parade. Okay. I was gonna say yes, yeah. Yes, I think I Macy's am. Day Parade's great too. Oh, what a great song. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah. I don't... Will this get above Macy's Day Parade? I don't think it can. I think no. I think it's more clever than Macy's Day Parade just because it's one of those songs that goes from 0 to 100 back to 0 to 100. And those songs are really clever to me. But, like, there's just something about Macy's Day Parade, dude, that's just really nice to me. Yeah. It just flows so well. 
Um, but we're not here to talk about warning, although someday we will be because I really do love warning. Um, yeah, all in all, um, if you want to stop screen sharing, because now we're just giving an overview of the album. Um, I would say this is a top five Green Day album. I I would I would say this is fantastic work. Um I'm a big Revolution Radio guy. Um that was my first when I became a fan of Green Day, they dropped that pretty shortly after. So I uh have a lot of bias and love and admiration toward Revolution Radio. It's like it's like my guy. Um I saw them on tour for Revolution Radio with uh this motherfucker over here. Um but yeah, like it has to compete with that in terms of best since 21st century breakdown. Um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's better than rev radio yet, but well, it's not yet, I should say. Um, uh, but you know, it could get yeah. there someday. Um, I think there's some really great songs off of this. Um, I, I really love this album and I'm, I think it'll hold me over for a, at least a little bit in terms of, uh, green day dropping stuff I, I feel like there's a big difference between dropping a pretty good album and dropping an album that'll hold people over and this is definitely an album that's going to hold me over in terms of green day yeah yeah i think you agree? this rec i think this record's in their upper echelon of records the only reason i think it's held back in some regards to like so like because like we're talking about like these records right and the reason why I wouldn't compare it to something like what's sorry, I can't even talk right now. What's weird about this album is in comparison to all of Green Day's other albums, I feel like there's like a, a sound to it. Like there's a mm -hmm. a clear thing. So like, for example, like even with a record like uh, uh, like 21st Century Breakdown, like that record is like like almost like. Let me see. It's like an, it's like an hour and a half, right? Something like that around that. It's so long, yeah. Area, right. It's a long one. It's I think it's their longest, if I'm not wrong, right? There's no way there's a longer album, yeah. And my thing is, even with like the every once in a while miss on 21st Century Breakdown, I feel like it earns that runtime. There's a few songs yes. on here. There's a few songs on here that I'm like. Uh, they didn't they just do that song like two songs ago you know what i mean like yep. in that sense but the other thing that i kind of didn't notice too was like there's usually more of like i mean i think father to a son was the closest we got to this but there wasn't like there's usually like a gimmick track or something you'll have like a hitch and a ride or you'll have like you know what i mean like you'll have a i don't know like you'll have a homecoming or like you know what i mean there's always like some wonky stuff that they kind of throw in or even on like warning i guess it would be like um even like that for even the title track warning like with the weird guitar i feel like misery did it on warning misery yeah misery thank you like it just felt like there wasn't like a moment that i was like surprised besides father to a son i'd say and that's like uh... and father to a son wasn't necessarily a crazy left turn well what, what i would say for the I, I would I would put up an argument for dilemma. Um I, I feel yeah, I, yeah. I feel like dilemma did that. The only reason you're not thinking of it is because it came out a few weeks before the album. No, that's true. No, I'm not I'm not discrediting the song. I just mean like there wasn't I felt like there wasn't as much of a bold risk with this one. I think they played it pretty safe. They made like really you know what I mean? Like there wasn't like that crazy song that you're just like, oh man. Like even if it sucked, you know what I mean? Like we're talking, um, like, I'm going to compare it to other Green Day shit in a second. Hold on. Like, obviously, like, there are, yeah, I know. I'm, like, looking, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, a good comparison. So, like. I mean, Still Breathing is a good comparison, though. No, Still Breathing is a good comparison. But even then, like, you have, like, even on Revolution Radio, you had, like, Ordinary World out of nowhere. And, like, you had Say Goodbye, which is, like, a really kind of wonky, weird tune, you know what I mean? But, like, but like just considering the record that they made before, Father, right? That record mm -hmm. was so fucking bold. Like, and, and I'm, this is a rare time where I praise Mother of All. So, <laughs> so let me say that. But I think you're going to get what I'm saying, though. They went from taking, like, such a crazy fucking jump 
to playing it as safe as possible. And I think they knew that because they knew if they followed up this record or they knew that if they followed up Father of All with something bad, like it would be like, fuck, man, like this is fucking bad. You know what I mean? So they, I they mean, I wouldn't they call this like, safe as possible, but no, I, no, I agree. No. I, I agree. They didn't like reach like all the way into left field, but I, I don't think yeah. they played it like a straight shot. No, I don't, I don't, no, I don't no, agree with no, that. No. I think there's definitely, I, I, I think, um, what was I going to say? What, what album? I'm sorry. What album? I feel like Dookie's a straight shot. Most of Dookie's a straight shot. Dookie's a straight shot, but Dookie also comes from a time where they hadn't really taken that left turn yet. Like they hadn't had like an American idiot or like you know what I mean? Like just since yeah. that like they're yeah, we're on their fourteenth you know? album. You know what I mean? We're on the fourteenth record. And compared to like so like you had the rock operas, right? Like the duo of that. You had the trilogy, which I mean, even though like the trilogy was hit or miss, like whatever you say, it's like still like pretty fucking bold to drop three records in like a year. You got Trey. Trey. Revolution Trey. Radio. Trey. Trey's, Trey's dope. Trey's Revolution the best. Radio. Trey's the best. Revolution Radio was them trying to play catch up with politics a little bit, but there was still some really good songs on that. Father of All, it sucked, but there was like, the, they had never done anything that sounded like that. So I'm not saying I want the crazy ass experimental <laughs> fucking Green Day. That's not what I want. But I feel like Savior's like the one thing that takes away from like me putting it against a Nimrod or like a warning is that it didn't have like those crazy risk songs that were just like this fucking rules you know what i mean yeah like, don't get me wrong don't get me wrong that is not to say this is a bad record this is still like one of their best ones in a while and one of their best ones period i think what you're looking for instead of just being like a crazy song i think you're looking at like just kind of bass tracks that haven't like really been done because you're talking about hitching a ride a lot um brain stew falls into that category yeah and those are ones with really like unique baseline like mike Dern, i'll stand on a hill that says this might be mike Dern's best work as a backup vocalist um oh, it yeah. definitely it definitely does not stand out for him in terms of a bass player in which i do agree if you want to talk about like not really like if you want to talk about like a straight shot, then sure. Um, in yeah. terms of Mike Durnt as as a bass player, he kept it pretty straight and simple. Um, but I I feel like the rest of the band didn't. Um, I think, and and this is a completely different subject, not what you were saying, just because I think we both agreed. I saw your reaction. Props to Mike Durnt on the backup vocals, unbelievable on this. I have to re-listen to um Rev Radio and the other two um opera ones um just to see like this because i never really like listened for that but it stood out for me on this record yeah. and i got to see if like this is the best that he's ever done or if i just missed it on the others because i mean obviously yeah. he's done it before and you can know there's songs that i can think of where he's done it and it's great but this record is just like so noticeable for me and i really enjoyed yeah. it um but yeah, no, I think they had um because because something interesting is when they were um when I was looking at like people's reaction to the album, I think you're right in saying that like they didn't really have a sound with this one. Um yeah. people were saying like, damn, like this track sounds like it could be from blank. This one sounds yeah. like it could be from blank. And I like that. Uh there's some people, Mike, who might see that as kind of like a compilation like care package by Drake. Um, but uh I, I think it I think it worked. I think it really worked. Um, and it's it it, it it provides something for everybody. I know one of my buddies is a really old timer Green Day fan, and he loved living in the twenties. He loved Look My No Brains, he loved 1981, because it's fast paced old Green Day. And then you got the people who like American Idiot, Good Night Adeline, Susie Chapstick, and then you yeah. got the the suckers for a ballad, father of all. <laughs> Then you got the experimental fuckers, um, dilemma. Then you got one that everyone will like. American Dream is killing me. I mean, you got something for everybody on this album. I think it's great. Yeah, I know. I a hundred percent. Yeah, it's a good one. This is a good record. Yep. And I think I think as time goes on, um, it'll definitely stand atop a lot of the uh, Green Day records. 
Why, why is it that every year that ends in a four, they drop some banger bullshit like Dookie or American Idiot or this or Demo... De Demolition... <laughs> All right, they skipped one year. <laughs> it's going to be year. 10 years until another good Green Day album. It's or, like or the Olympics. Two, they decide to drop Revolution Radio 2. Revolution uh, Television. It's like the Revolution Olympics. Stereo. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, unless you have anything else to say, um, that concludes our tier list. Um, thank you guys for watching. We have a few more tier lists coming your way. Obviously, football season is coming to a close. Um, me and Mike have some stuff planned for after football ends. I have some stuff recorded to post after football ends. I've just been holding off because we kind of just been riding the sailboat. I gotta go play some football. football. Yeah, Connor's a big football guy. That's why you've seen so much of him. Um, but <laughs> yeah, um, stay tuned for more content. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the bullshit, and we'll talk to you next time.